everybody! I'm here today to tell you about seven practical tips for merging onto the highway properly. In this video, I'll be going over seven specific tips that are very helpful for merging onto the highway properly and safely. And these are practical tips. They're really easy to implement into your regular driving routine. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Practical tip number one for merging onto the highway is to get up to speed on time. This is probably the most important tip out of everything in this video. We've all been on the highway. You're merging on, the speed limit is 100, the flow of traffic is 100 kilometers an hour. I'm talking about not miles, but kilometers an hour. And the person in front of you seems to be going like 50 kilometers an hour. Speed up, get up to the highway speed on time. If you can't do it, then get off the highway and learn how to do it. It's as simple as that. You cause accidents if you don't get up to the highway speed on time because people try and pass you illegally because they're so frustrated and that can cause an accident. And yes, they shouldn't pass you illegally, but you should be getting up to the speed. So just get your gas pedal, push it down and get up to the speed on time. And I'm sure I can speak for many people, for everyone watching this video, when I say please do it because it frustrates myself and everyone when you don't get up to speed on time. Practical tip number two is to make sure to use your signal. Check this out. It takes like a second to use your signal, okay? So it doesn't even take up much time. And it also takes up virtually no energy or effort. So, you know, even if you're lazy, you can still use your signal just like that. Turn on your signal, use your signal. It tells every other driver on the road what you plan on doing. Simple and straightforward. Practical tip number three, don't cut people off. Once again, we've all seen these drivers. You're driving and you're in a lane and then all of a sudden someone just like boom, just gets in front of you and they're not even up to the highway speed or you know, they, they had lots of time to merge in. You were driving at a faster speed than them and then all of a sudden, boom, they're right in front of you. You gotta slam on your brakes, which means the person behind you has to slam on their brakes, which means everyone behind them has to slam on their brakes, which means it's an almost accident. It's a near accident. Don't cut people off. Simple as that. But number four is, but be somewhat assertive. At the same time, you know, you want to get in that lane. Don't wait for someone to high beam you to let you in. You know, get up to speed. When you see an opening, take it without cutting people off. Number three and four sort of go together. So be somewhat assertive, see an opening in the lane and take it. It's yours. Number five, tip number five, follow the unwritten order, which is don't merge before the person in front of you. For the most part, the way that it should work if you want to merge onto a highway nicely and effectively is that basically everyone should merge starting from the furthest most person forward. So whoever's at the front of the line of people that want to merge, they merge first, then the next person merges next, then the next person merges next. Now what happens is when someone's driving too slowly or when you get a person on their high horse behind you, they floor the gas pedal and they merge before you merge, even though you're in front of them. Now, don't do that. Like I said, it's not right. Even if someone isn't up to highway speed, try and really avoid doing that just because it's super unbelievably dangerous. So try as hard as you can to follow the unwritten order, which is the furthest most person forward merges first. And then once they've merged, the next furthest most person forward merges next and so forth. Practical tip number six is look at the highway signs. Now, when you get on the highway, uh, usually depending on where you live, you're going to have some exit signs, you know, and maybe collectors and express and so forth, but it's also going to alert you about traffic. You want to know what's happening with the traffic ahead. You know, this way, if you plan on getting into the express, you can get into that left lane early enough into that express lane early enough. And you're not left switching over last minute, trying to cut every Everybody off. So just look at the highway signs. It takes like a fraction of a second and it tells you literally what you're getting yourself into when you get onto the highway. Practical tip number seven is to only merge when you are legally allowed to do so. Basically, when you see a dotted yellow line, that's when you're legally allowed to merge for the most part. Like I said, I can't speak for every single highway entrance ever, but I can say for the most part, the moment that 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 white line turns to a dotted white line instead of a solid white line, you can merge at that point. If the line is still a solid white line, then you shouldn't be merging. So wait until it gets dotted and then merge. And you might think you're, you know, 
know you're the king or queen of the road and you can do it, but there's a reason why it's still a solid white line. And I've seen this happen. Someone is still on the solid white line part and then they're driving and then they think, oh, I'm going to merge over the solid white line because I see there's no traffic. And what happens is they didn't realize there was a curb and a drop off and they're going like 120 kilometers an hour or something and boom, 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 and a near accident happens. Okay. And they for sure damage their car. Okay. Almost certainly. So just wait until you're legally allowed to merge because you don't want to be that guy or girl that I just explained. And I saw that happen. I mean, it's pretty nuts, but that's it. Those are seven practical tips for merging onto the highway properly. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.